Hello everyone, welcome back to Soliano's Bath and Body Indulgence. I am Deirdre. And today we are going to cut our spiced cranberry soap. Bring it over. There we go. I have our little embeds there, the soap gumballs on the top, and the star anise on the side. Um, the technique I tried on this one, I don't know the name of it, and I'm not sure who came up with it, but I saw it done with um, Stacy from Yellow Cottage's cottage soapery and I thought it was like the coolest thing and I was like hey let me try that um it really didn't start off that well because my white here had gotten thick when I was trying to you know pour it in and everything so that didn't work out too good I just kept going with the other colors so do some adjusting here We'll go ahead and get this cut and see how it looks on the inside. I'm going to cut it on its side here so that way I can see where I'm cutting. Alright, let's see what happened in the middle. Wow. Not what I was going for. <laughs> it's kind of, you can't really tell. It's kind of funky. It's cool, but then it's funky. I don't know. Let's just keep going to see what happens. Now on this one, um, this spice cranberry, like I've said before, I want to say 98% of my fragrance oils come from Nature's Garden. And this is one of them. And the description on here says it is a blend of cranberry relish, orange zest, with hints of ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And I would say that is spot on. You know, if you like those spicy scents, or like, you know, um, like um, apple cider. You know, if you spice it up with some cloves and cinnamon and nutmeg, yeah, all that, it's like that. Um, of course, it doesn't smell like apples, but, you know, it gives you that, that spicy, spiciness that, like, apple cider does, which I really like. Oh, gosh. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of uploads from me this week gonna get all the videos out before the holiday release it actually looks pretty cool pretty cool I'm gonna work on that technique some more see if I can get it right Stacy did her so beautifully um, but yeah you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of videos from me this week um, the holiday release things like that. Um, I will also be updating the website. I'll have everything on there. there. will be some things that once they're gone, they're gone. And I will make sure that I put that there. <laughs> That's cute. I'll put that there in the in the descriptions, but some things are going to be closed out because um, I will be switching up the scents next spring. So not only will I have the holiday stuff out, I'll also have my other scents. That way, if you guys want to get them now, you can. Um, some things. 
I may bring back next year and some things I probably won't oh it is a really nice scent I think this would work as a unisex scent But, you know, that's totally up to the person. Yeah. Now that is nice. That is it right there. I think as we get towards the middle here, it gets a little better. And honestly, I don't remember too much of the making. Um, besides the fact that it took forever for my piping to set up and of course you guys saw that because I ended up having two part a two part making video on this one like it was taking forever battery was dying, memory card was full couldn't find any other memory cards, it was just a whole bunch of stuff going on it was just a little it, it was wonky that day so wonky but this has turned out quite nice. A lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Again, the power of prayer. Because you, know, you get to a point, you have this idea in your head. And because of so many things, whether it's temperature fluctuations or... temperature fluctuations in your room um, temperature fluctuations in your ingredients it's just a whole bunch of stuff can go on and you know you have this idea in your head of what you want and then it doesn't happen you're like uh, whoa so you have to do things on the fly so this is one of those things on the fly. Is there, a, there are times when I soap, I can have all my ingredients at room temperature in another room, bring them into the soap room, and the temperature in here could be 75 and everything is good. And then the next day it could be 78 and then things could be different yeah I am so digging those they are funky looking the good funky anyway I know I'm just talking all over the place just random but I finally actually um, about two hours ago finally made some pumpkin muffins and they smell delicious I haven't eaten any yet I've just been working trying to get everything together but they smell great and I went out this morning to check the garden see what's going on um, cause I didn't go out there yesterday or did I I don't remember anyway it's okay but I went out this morning to check everything wait no I didn't go out there yesterday I went Sunday but not yesterday okay um but I checked everything everything's doing well um I still have jalapenos banana peppers serrano peppers and cayenne peppers still growing producing all that great stuff tomorrow I'm gonna get out there and do and pick some of those peppers and I think I'm gonna make some more hot sauce um, let's see what else is there the pumpkins are still going which is crazy we had some frost and it killed some of the leaves some of the foliage of the pumpkin plants but they're still going well I actually even saw still a pumpkin blossom this morning 
and I was thinking about, you know, just going ahead and pulling it all up, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it, and, you know, keep checking the, the weather and the temperature and everything. Um, but, you know, we just had some mild frosts, so everything's doing okay, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, there's probably somewhere between, I want to say 10 to 20 pumpkins in total. Some of them are so small, I don't think they'll, I don't think they'll, um, you know, keep going. Well, get any bigger, Betty yet said. They might, um, you know, the Lord is good. So we'll see. Um, but some of them are so small if, you know, we get a frost, a real hard frost, they won't, um, they won't make it because they're so small. You know, they just started growing, which is wild. Everybody, you know, a lot of people have gotten snow and things like that and freezing weather already you know we just we got like two two mornings of light frost and right now I don't know what the temperature is but the sun is out it's kind of warm you know a nice cool breeze it's really a, a great fall day and if I didn't have so much to do inside I would be outside but let's see what else do I have I have three raised beds. Um, one has carrots and carrots, radishes, turnips, rutabagas. So pretty. The other one is lettuce, spinach, and Swiss chard. And then my last one has oh, let's see, parsley, basil, kale, um, and celery. I have um, basil, parsley, and cilantro, and some more radishes in the greenhouse. And there's also my um, <laughs> my passion fruit vines. 